Hello guys, I'm CC here doing another TF2 video and we are back doing more reskin wars. And uh, and today we are going to be looking at the Maul and the Home Wrecker, two very, very heavily used melee weapons for the Pyro. So the stats for this weapon are 100 percent more damage against buildings, so you can take out mini sentries in one hit and normal buildings that aren't being hit or healed. But, um, in two hits, which is just amazing, and um, but with the price of 25% less damage to players. So um, the mall being its reskin was a, a promotional item for Red Fraction Armageddon, uh, a game that I actually played quite heavily on the Xbox 360 but never bought it on PC. It was awarded to players in genuine quality if you pre-ordered the game before the 6th of June 2011 However, the weapon was made available in genuine form for your pre-order and was released at June the 3rd, 2011. The uh, weapon only has two formats you can get it in. You can get it in genuine and you can get it in unique. If it was in strange, I'd probably have that and use it religiously. Uh, it has a unique kill icon like most reskins do and uh, it has a, um, a little, little description under it which says Packs a devastating punch with a pinch of Mars dust. Uh, a bit of homage to the game Red Fraction Armageddon, which is based on Mars. Now let's look at the stock. So the stock, the uh, the Home Wrecker, is actually one of the few community weapons we have in the game. It was created by a guy called Laro Laro Laro. I think that's how it's pronounced. And uh, the kill icon for it, because it used to just be the standard home wrecker one, was later submitted by a guy called Neo Neo De Pumpkin. Um, it was released in the March 18, 2010 patch, which was the first ever community-based update, and it um, it was kind of the only time. It was the first time we ever saw community-made items, which was very cool, and you know something like that now would be amazing. So, you can get it as a drop, you can get it unique as a drop, uh, you can craft it and get the unique version, you can just purchase it from the Steam store, not Steam store, the uh, TF2 store, but I, I wouldn't, it's like four quid and it's worth less than a penny. Um, you, if you unboxed crate number 13, you got it in unique form because back then strangers weren't very common. Uh, in crate 49 you could get it in strange and uh, if you use a um, chemistry set you could get it in collector's format. It comes in unique format, vintage format, strange format and collector's format and that's all the information about them. So about the actual weapon, weapons, it's quite a funny argument because loads of people I'd argue, uh, even Uncle Dane argued recently, I'd rather have a more powerful pyro than one that's just going to do my job for me when, you know, you get there. That's another attribute of the weapon I haven't mentioned. It can remove sappers from buildings. Um, so I, I've, I reckon it's one of the more useful weapons. I use it over the power jack because I'd, I'd rather be able to take out minis in a one hit if they're right around the corner than like four with the power jack. I just prefer it that way. Um, so between the actual two, which one's better in this reskin war? I actually prefer the look of the home wrecker when you put a um, professional kill streak kit on it, than on the mall, because with the mall it just looks really chunky and horrible. Like it fits the it fits the look of um, Red Fraction Armageddon perfectly, but in TF2 it just looks a little bit out of place. So definitely for the looks. You know, I prefer prefer the home wreck. Not to say if they came out of a strange version of the mall, I'd almost uncertainly use it. It was more interesting. Like it's not as pretty as the home wrecker looks, and it just don't look as right. But in this game, which we call TF2, where you can throw piss and and, and milk at people, I I'm pretty sure the mall is more uh, suited for the game with its weird dog-like look. So, uh, definitely swinging more or less towards the mall. If it came out in strange, because you got to remember the home wreck has a lot of versions of it. You can even they've got the collector's version of it, which I've uh, I've seen a few actually collectors 
home wreckers. And uh, vintage, you got vintage one for if you like lost yours from bugs and stuff like that, and you got strange and you got unique, and you can even just find it and then you've got it. Whereas the more you pretty much you have to you can craft it with um, the random craft and get a random melee and have a chance of getting it, or you could just buy it and it's, it's like a quid and a half or something like 150 for you Americans, that's like two dollars. Um, so for this reskin war today I'm gonna have to swing to the home wrecker it's just a it's a very iconic like if I if when I'm playing engineer if someone came up to me with the mall it doesn't click immediately what it is because nobody really uses it but if someone's got the home wrecker I look at it and I go oh yeah it's home wrecker I'm safe he can do my sentry for me or he can be a dick and leave it so so for that reason you know it, it, you you look at it and you know immediately what it is, whereas with this with the mall you just don't it, it doesn't immediately click and it's just not as reassuring. I uh, I'm gonna have to say for this reskin war, the original wins. Yes, so this is episode four of reskin wars. There's only one more of these coming out and then I'm killing off the series for a while until uh, unless people like request it. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you've got um, a reskin that you want doing that I haven't covered, I have playlists. I do these in fives. Um, I got playlists. Go and have a look at the ones I've done. And if there's a reskin you want me to look at, then um, say I've got a list of them that I do. It's, it's, it's like here you can hear the paper that um, that I got loads to do. But if there's uh, any in particular you want me to look at, then just uh, give me a shout. Uh, it's been 11cc, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.